Welcome to another example of time and work where two workers are working alternately. A and B working separately can do a piece of work in 9 and 12 days respectively. If they work for a day alternately with A beginning in how many days the work will be completed. So here we have been given that the time taken by A to complete a work is 9 days and the time taken by B to complete the same work is 12 days. Now let's say that the piece of work is to paint this log of wood. Now first A will work on this because we have been given that A is beginning the work. So A works on this for a day. This is A. The next day B is taking over the work. So this is B and B works on this for one day and so on. Then the next day A will work for one day, the next day B will work for one day and so on. So we have to find out in how many days will they be able to complete the whole work. Now let us first find out that in this span of two days when a and B have worked on this piece of work for one day each, how much work can they complete? So here is one day work is 1 by 9 and B's one day work is 1 by 12. So A plus B's two days work will be equal to 1 by 9 plus 1 by 12. So 1 by 9 plus 1 by 12. Now let's take the LCM. So let's find out the LCM. So 3, 3 is a 9 and 3, 4 is a 12. So the LCM is 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12, multiplied by 3, which is 36. Now 9, 4 is a 36. So 4 plus 12, 3 is a 36. So this is 3. So this becomes 4 plus 3 is 7 divide by 36. So in two days A and B will be able to complete 7 by 36th of the work. Now this means that if you divide the whole work in 36 parts then A plus B are completing 7 parts out of those 36 parts in two days. So we want to find out in what time will they complete 36 parts out of 36 total parts. This is the total work. So approximately 7 fives are 35. So we will need 5 2 days of work from A plus B. So total 10 days work. by A plus B will be equal to 5 multiplied by 7 by 36. Why did I do 5? Is because this is 2 days work and we are taking 5 pairs. That means 5 times the 2 days work. So this is equal to 35 by 36. So in 10 days, they will be able to complete 35 parts out of 36. So now the remaining work
is equal to 1 by 36. Now since this is an even number, so that means on the 10th day, B has done the work. So the next turn is for A. Now A completes 1 by 9th of the work in one day. So in how much time will he complete 1 by 36th of the work? So in one day, he completes 1 by 9th. So in how many days will he complete 1 by 36th? So definitely 1 by 36 is smaller than 1 by 9. So he'll be able to complete it in less than one day. So let's find it out. So x multiplied by 1 by 9 is equal to 1 by 36 or x is equal to 9 by 36. 9 fours are 36 or x is equal to 1 by 4. So in a quarter of a day, A will be able to complete the remaining 1 by 36th of the work. So the total time taken is 10 days plus 1 by 4th of a day. So 10 plus 1 by 4, which can also be written as 10 1 by 4 days.